Hi, Michel Bateau here from RSA and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to look at is um, a quick tool that I put together and published on uh, SourceForge uh, versus SAP. So um, this is a tool that, that's fairly simple, but it illustrates a few concepts uh, for those familiar with the uh, uh, with the JCO uh, interface, the uh, SAP connector interface, uh, a few things that uh, are interesting to be able to accomplish are being able to request information using any BAPI call. And now I'm using the Swiss Army call, which is to get uh, basically any table out of SAP. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, showing how I can leverage that. I'm also showing how I can leverage a, a custom uh, destination manager, uh, so I don't need to store my connection information into files on the file system. So uh, that makes also the uh, little Java uh, tool more portable, so I could basically include it as part of, uh, of a connector or, or collector uh, in an easier way because there's no dependency on, on those connection files, um, so no need to store the password in, the, in a file on the file system. So. What we're looking at right now is the um, the uh, SourceForge um, uh, page, uh, SourceForge page, where I put the uh, uh, information, basic information, like the, there's a download link here uh, for a pre-compile uh, version of, of the tool. So I compiled it with the uh, OpenSDK version 1.7, uh, but you can also access the uh, the source file. And it's fairly easy to, to recompile, so it's a fairly simple uh, Java application. I've also included uh, some, uh, some basic information um, about uh, its capabilities, um, which you can see here. And um, also, I'm updating the wiki page to provide some instructions on how to use it, uh, how to recompile it. Of course, you need to get the uh, Libraries from uh, from SAP. Uh, if you're a customer or a partner, you can go to the uh, portal as a, re as a registered user and download these. But uh, chances are also you can just Google them and you'll, you'll find them. They're out there. But I did not include them on on my por uh, on my portal here because they uh, are associated with uh, an SAP license. And uh, if we actually take a look at the uh, at the code itself, so it's uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, show it to you quickly. So basically, I'm defining a custom destination provider here. So I've been able to find some good examples in the community that I've been able to leverage. Uh, and then um, getting some parameters. So uh, I commented some additional parameters for pooling and all that, but you could quickly enable those and additional ones to have better control on the connection, on the way the uh, SAP connector connects to your SAP backend. I can also uh, you know, add additional information here in terms of uh, comments. So what I did, I use a simple trick here. Um, so if I don't get all the specified uh, arguments uh, from the command line, uh, I'm expecting seven of them. And it's just going to print some users information. So let's take a look at the uh, at the actual uh, utility in action right now. So this is um, this is just a basic uh, Linux terminal. So I created a folder called SAP tables. That's where I created or copied the uh, jar files, um, and uh, I have my um, SAP two CSV jar here which I am using. Um, and I also created a lib subdirectory. This is where I throw the um, uh, SAP uh, jco 3 jar the, the connector. There's also a library that I need to copy under my, uh, my uh, Java uh, GRE uh, lib subdirectory. So I provide instructions for that on, on the web page. If I just uh, try to call the commands without all the required parameters or with, with no parameters at all, that's when it's going to uh, to display some usage information. Uh, so you see an example here. And what's nice about it um, is um, I can also output the, 
I'll put the uh, standard output into a file, and that's going to give me uh, some information about the file I'm trying to retrieve. Now let's uh, use vUsername as an example, which is one of the tables of views that uh, I can query from uh, from SAP. So uh, if I I just execute that. then take a look at my uh, directory. Now if I do a refresh on my directory, I will see the v username uh, CSV file. And this file could be used to collect accounts or uh, eventually if I also request additional files and tenements, uh, application roles, profiles, T codes associated to those roles uh, from SAP and import that into, for example, RSC, uh, RSC governance and lifecycle. Uh, or I could also just try to use uh, Excel if I'm interested in running some reports or, or just investigating uh, you know, the, the data that I have in SAP. So this is an example of a table that uh, I requested earlier, uh, HRP 1001. Um, and you see, you know, the column names and the different values. So this one here could be used to build an identity collector for RSA governance and lifecycle, or it could be used to identify all the different uh, users that exist uh, on, on the SAP side, whether they are active or inactive. So you can look also at the start, begin date, uh, end date, start date, end date to figure that out. And if for some reason you have anything wrong in um, in your connection uh, parameters or if you don't have enough permissions, the SAP connector will automatically generate a trace file. So this is an example here of, of the trace file and it will basically tell you everything you need to fix for for your connection. For example here these were from previous tests my user account did not have enough permissions so basically telling you which permission to add piecemeal so you can just you know go through multiple attempts add these permissions one at a time and eventually you'll get all the permissions you need to be able to um, to query uh, those tables uh, but what I suggest to get started first just grant the SAP all so that's what I uh, I did for my account So if I just try to access my SCP system now, I'm going to use an admin account here. And if I just go into uh, display user, So this is the account I've been using to run the tool, and I can see that this account has the SCPL profile. It's a little bit overkill, but uh, first I recommend that you try it with SCPL just to make sure that you know connectivity and everything else is fine, and then after that you can try to be more granular with permissions. Also, because I redirected the standard output to uh, a.out, I can take a look, and it's going to give me some information about the uh, the uh, information that I find in the uh, CSV file. Um, so it's going to give me the name of each column and some descriptor here, which can be useful um, to try to understand, you know, what's uh, included in um, in the CSV. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing because you're not sure if uh, 
the username it's showing you uh, is uh, associated to the user itself or the last uh, user that modified that record. Um, so the, this information here can be, uh, can be helpful. And also, you know, you can decide you want to run this command again with a different table. So the only thing you need to do is to recall the same command, but now you can just change just change the table name. So let's say I want to request USR01. Now if I go refresh, I will see that I have a new CSV file. If I open this CSV file, I will be able to see the uh, different columns that are available with all the, the values, so B name is the account name. And then if I look at a.out, I will get a, a quick description of the uh, of the table that I uh, requested. So I think I need to refresh it because it was already open. There we go. So now I'm looking instead of the description for you, uh, the username, USR01, with all the, the different columns and uh, a descriptor uh, for these columns. And if you need to recompile, fairly easy. I'm not a very sophisticated uh, Java coder or developer, as I mentioned in a, in a previous uh, video. But in order to compile, it's fairly easy. So you just need to use uh, Java C. Then you need to specify the location of the uh, SAP connector. And you can add also uh, other classes if needed. But for now, that's pretty much all we need. And then your, your Java source. Oh, forgot the uh, minus CP for a class path. There we go. And when you execute it, as you saw earlier, if you want, you can uh, you can reference the local directory for for the, the classes like this, and you specify, of course, all the uh, parameters. You need to get rid of Java extension here. And uh, then you can either specify the uh, jar, or you could also just specify here the dot, which is just going to grab the classes files. So that's pretty much it for this uh, quick demonstration of how to use the tool. And uh, I will also uh, be happy to welcome any comments or feedback versus this tool. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to me and uh, help me you know, make it uh, easier to use for anybody who's interested in uh, using the tool as is or using it as an example. Uh, for a, a quick uh, Java tool to be able to query SCP process uh, information uh, that we're getting from, from tables and write them to CSV. Uh, and all this without having to deal with uh, a destination file 
uh, that that's echoed on on the file system. You can also fairly easy script uh, these calls to call multiple tables uh, uh, using just a, a bash script. Thank you, and until next time, have a good day.